deep sea coder v2 is out and the drop this time is humongous if you scroll down on the deep sea huggy face space you can see the models that they dropped this time with the deep sea coder v2 light base which is a 16 billion parameters model with 128k context lab and there's even a humongous model of 236 billion parameters with a 21 billion active parameters and you can download all of their models from hugging face and they're completely open source but the most interesting part is here deep sea coder v2 is ranking on top beating deep sea v2 as well as chat gpt4 turbo there's gemini glod and much more and you can actually run the light models locally on your machine but you will have to have around eight gpus and a few hardware requirement to run them properly but what we're going to do today is we're going to test out the deep sea coder v2 light which is a 16 billion parameters model locally on our machine and integrate that inside vs code but as for the big 236 billion parameters model I'm gonna go and test this out inside the deep seek chat and you must be wondering why i am so hyped about this so if you go to val plus you can see that in the leaderboard it is on top beating all the coding models out there whether they are paid unpaid closed source or open source deep seek coder v2 struck is on top so let's move to the lab and actually test this out whether their claims are accurate or not hi this is shamraiz with skill curve and now we're actually getting to the practical part and we're going to go and explore both of the amazing models of deep sea coder v2 so let's get started with the lab first off we're gonna have to have olama on our machine so i'm gonna go and download that just need to copy the script go back to my terminal and paste that right here now let's go to the model section here and i'm gonna go and search for deep sea coder so let's go with that let's go with the deep sea coder v2 which is just updated 15 hours ago so there are two different options that you get the 16b option as well as the 236b option which is a humongous model so if you have a good hardware you can run this locally as well but i would suggest run the 16b locally and use their api or their chat for the 236b model so i'm gonna go and download the 16b locally all you have to do is just copy this script here let's go back to our terminal i'm just gonna go and paste in my script here and there you go it actually started downloading my model oh, your model is downloaded up and running so let's go and test this out so i'm gonna go with hello just make sure that you mention to response in your specific language i'm gonna go with english and that's all so yeah it is actually working this means that olama is actually hosting deep sea coder v2 locally on your machine right now now all you have to do is integrate your local model inside your vs code and start coding now there are different options that you can choose from to integrate your local models inside vs code but the extension that i prefer is the continue extension by continue.dev so i'm gonna go and install that all you have to do is just type continue here and you can install it now once you have your extension installed all you have to do is just click on this plus option here and scroll down to olama here after that if you scroll down you can see this auto detect option i prefer this option because this will detect all the models that are running locally on my machine but you can even be specific and go with deep sea coder here and there you go it has already detected that i'm working with deep sea coder v2 the latest one 16b parameter let's go and test this out if it's working or not so i'm gonna go and say hello here and yep it's working now that we have our local model integrated inside our vs code we can actually test out its coding capability so i'm gonna go and test out different scenarios as well as all the features that any coding compiler should have so i'm gonna go and start with code generation first so let's go to the file explorer here i'm gonna go and create a new file which is gonna be test.py now here inside this file i'm gonna go and hit ctrl i and start prompting so let's say i want to generate a guessing game so i'm gonna go and say generate the code for a number guessing game and that's all let's go and hit enter and there you go you have all the code that you need all you have to do is just accept it and after that you can save this file and run it to test it out so i'm gonna go and run this file now the number guessing game actually started so i can enter any minimum value so i'm gonna go with five now it wants me to enter a maximum value so i'm gonna go with 10 and it is quite interesting how it is asking me of a minimum value and a maximum value and then asking me guess a number in between them so i'm gonna go and choose eight at first so let's go and see so i didn't guess it right but it gives a hint that my guess is too high so i'm gonna go with six this time it's still saying that my guess is too high so let's go with five and there you go you won the game 
with free time. So I would say this code is quite thorough. It actually went on and generated all the questions and the scenarios, which is really good and I'm really impressed. So this is just one of the features of any coding copilot, which is code generation. And of course, DeepSeek Coder V2 pass this with flying colors. Now let's go and check out how good it actually is when it comes to editing the code. So I'm gonna go and actually select all of this. Now I'm actually going to go and prompt it to change the scenario so that we only have three turns to guess. So I prompted it to change the rules so that the player has only three turns to guess. Otherwise, show message you lost. So let's go and hit enter and check out the results. So it actually went on and did a few changes. All I have to do is just accept all and the changes will be added to my file. After that, I will just have to save this file. So I'm gonna go and test this out again. So this time I'm gonna go guess from one to 10. So let's go from one to all the way 10 and let's go and make our guess. So I'm gonna go with four this time. It says too low, but because we want to test out whether it made the right changes to the code or not. So I'm gonna go and guess wrong two more times. So it's gonna be four and four on eight. And as you can see, it actually states that you didn't guess the number and you lost. The message is there and it actually made the changes in the code. So all in all, it actually performs outstanding in the editing part as well. And it does add it like a professional coder. And I'm really impressed by that. So these were the two major features that any coding copilot should have. But there are a few more features that any coding copilot should have. One is the bug fixing feature. So I'm gonna go and induce a few bugs. So as you can see, I have plenty of errors in this code. All I have to do is just select all of this code and I'm gonna go with control I and this time I'm going to prompt it to fix the bugs. So let's go and say debug the code and that's all. And then made the changes. Now all you have to do is just accept the changes and there you go. Let's go and save this and run this again. And it's actually working, which is great. So it passes the debugging test as well. Now last, but one of the most important part of any AI pair programming tool or coding copilot, which is auto completion. So for that, you will have to do a few configurations as you can see, if I go on and start typing, I don't get any suggestions. But what if I go to the continue chat and I go to the setting option here, I can change a few things in the auto completion model settings here. So first thing I need to change is the provider, which is gonna be Olama. So I'm gonna go and add that. The next thing that I want is the title of the model. So it's gonna be deep seek coder. As for the model, I'm gonna go with deep seek coder v2, the latest one, and there you go. Now you can save this file. Now if you go back to your file, now as you can see, my auto completion is actually working. All I have to do is just hit tab and I can accept suggestion. Let's go and do a few more suggestions. And as you can see, all I'm doing is just hitting tabs. I'm generating code on the go, which is quite amazing. And with this, we have all the features that any AI pair programming tool or any coding copilot should have. So this is how you can use DeepSeek Coder V2, their latest model inside VS Code and run it locally on your machine. And to be honest, I'm really impressed by the results and how I create it codes. And with this, you can make your very own personal coding copilot and you don't have to pay a single penny for that because it is running locally on your model and completely free. So with that said, now it is time to actually test out the large model of DeepSeek Coder V2, which is the 236 B parameters model. So I'm gonna go to the DeepSeek Coders chat and try it out. So we are here on the DeepSeq chat and I've selected the coder v2. I'm going to go and ask it the same questions. So first things first, I'm going to go with the guessing game. So let's say generate the code for a number guessing game. And that's all. And the code is out and I think the code is pretty much similar to the code that we generated inside VS Code. But actually let's go and check out the results. So I'm going to go and copy this code. Go back to my VS Code. And I'm going to paste this code right here. And let's go and run this file. So as you can see, the scenario is a bit different. So I'm gonna go and enter a random number here. Let's go with 45. It's saying that it is too high. So this time there are not many hints, like the minimum and the maximum number, but the whole scenario is similar to the guessing game. So I would say I personally love the game that the 16B model created. And also there's one thing that I want to mention that if you use the local model, you can use the auto completion. But if you use the 236B in the chat or using their API, you just can't use their auto completion feature. So keep that in mind. But with that, I think their 236 billion model also passed the test of code generation. Let's go and actually ask this to edit this code and see whether it performs well or not. So I'm going to go and make sure that we only have three attempts, just like the last case scenario. So I'm going to say, edit the above code, make 
should the player only have three turns otherwise print you lost i hope this worked and with that said let's hit and the code is out so let's go and copy this code back here on vs code i'm gonna go and paste in that code right here let's go and save the file and test this out so as you can see it made a few changes and it is saying that it is thinking of a number from 1 to 100 and you can clearly see the message that states you have three turns to guess it so let's go and make random guess i'm gonna go with three times wrong guess and there you go it stated that i lost the secret number was 51 so at the end it even gave me the answer as well as the message which i stated in the prompt which means the coding as well as the editing part is on par in both of the models the 236b model as well as the 16b model so that was all about deep sea coder v2 we tested out the deep sea coder locally as well as inside the chat we explored both of the models the 16b as well as the 236b model and we tested how capable they are to be a coding co-pilot. I hope this video was valuable. If you found this video insightful, hit the like button. Share your thoughts or experiences in the comments below. Ring the notification bell to never miss out on our daily updates. Thanks for watching and we'll see you in our next video. Where we'll continue to curb your skills with the latest tech. Till then, stay curious and keep exploring.